Hello, this is Jimmy Blevins. Today I'm going to show you how to use the sidebar module in the Divi Visual Builder. There's a little bit of setup I want to do first. Um, I'm going to actually go with this, this layout here, which is three quarters and a quarter for the columns. Just I want to show you um, kind of the different things you can do with sidebars. So first off, let's just do the standard um, WordPress sidebar, which is what it's automatically going to put in here. So we've got a recent post, the search field, comments, archives, all that stuff. And this is what you would normally see um, by default on the, the edge of a blog page or something. So the way to get in and edit this, if you don't already know, is to go to your widgets, your widget section. And that's going to be under appearance. And then you want to click on widgets. And you can see this first one called sidebar. This is your default sidebar. And you can see it shows us the search, the posts, comments, all the things that we've already seen here on this side. And you can add and remove these if you want to, if you want to keep this as the standard. Like let's say I don't want the comments on there. All I have to do is click here on delete. And that's automatically going to remove the comments. If I came back here and refreshed this page, this section would be gone. So that's one way to kind of edit the default. Another thing that you can use widgets for, which I really like to do, is to use them for custom menus. So I'm actually going to add this, just make a widget called custom menu. And I'll probably have to get in and out of my, of my pages. So I'm not sure if it created it or not. I think it did. I think I'll have to refresh this page in order to see that. And then once that loads up, I'm going to go ahead and refresh my visual builder. Yeah, there it is. I made two on accident. No worries. We'll just get rid of one. Okay. So custom menu, what I'm going to do is grab this widget here called, oddly enough, custom menu. And then I've already here in the menus, again, we're going to appearance, then menus. I've already set up a menu called sidebar menu, and I've put in kind of the default WooCommerce pages. So you can get to your account, checkout cart, and you can do whatever you want with this menu. Um, we've gone over menu a little bit before, but you can add any page that you've already made in WordPress. You can add any post that you've already made in WordPress, or you can do custom links. Like say I wanted to link to somebody else's website. I just put the URL in here in the link text. And I'll go over a tutorial on how to do menus in the future. I just wanted to show you how I set this up. So this is all I have to do is just pull this widget over and I can give it a title, let's say shop, shopping menu. And then I wanna pick my sidebar menu from there and just hit save. And you don't need to refresh this page, this is already taken care of. But this page I'm gonna go ahead and refresh just so you, so we can pull in that new the new sidebar that we just created because you'll have to go in and set that up in the widget section and then you can come into this module in the visual builder and go ahead and set that up so we've already loaded up okay I'm gonna go ahead and add another sidebar here and you can see if I throw this in just a regular column it's kind of in a disarray and this is just the default one but I want to put in a menu so I'm gonna do custom menu and then that's going to load it up just like a regular menu. Now, if I change this um, back here in the menus tab, it's going to automatically update. So I don't have to go, I don't have to change it in the widgets. I don't have to change it in the visual builder. Whatever changes I make to this menu are automatically going to pop up here. I really like to use these in my footer. So if I've got menus in the footer, I can just pop these custom menus in. And then if I ever need to make a change, um, I only have to change it in one place and it changes it site-wide, which is really nice. Um, let's get into the design. So we can do this remove border separator. And I don't know if you can see it on this screen, but there's this little line here that you would normally have on a sidebar. And that's just so we can get rid of that. There you can see it's gone now. Um, I can change my header font. I can make it bold. You know, a lot of the same normal options that we're, we're already used to with the Divi Visual Builder getting into these settings. 
And it's pretty simple. We've got our body font, body text, letter spacing, and this is how we can change any of these link colors. Um, and you can also do many different things with these. I, I really like sidebars. I think it's kind of a misnomer to call them a sidebar because you can actually use them throughout the website to feature any of these widgets that you want. Um, I've got all the WooCommerce widgets in here. I can just do custom text or code. These are, widgets are a great way to put like your, your Facebook pixel tracking or any kind of that stuff. I usually put them in a text module in the footer and then I know it's gonna load on every page and be fine. So that pretty much covers everything with the sidebar module and the Divi Visual Builder. Once again, my name is Jimmy Blevins and thank you so much for watching. <music>